Welcome back uh, guys on the Andrea Chani's channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create uh, a useful group node in geometry nodes for trigonometric uh, purpose. So let's get started. I'm working on Blender version 3.6.2 and we can create a simple mesh with a shift A mesh plane. Focus on it. Press the plus button up. General geometry nodes. We are going to create a new geometry nodes system with a, a grid, a primitive grid to show you the result of this group node. This is a grid. I'm going to increase the vertices to 128 to see the result of the trigonometric effect. And now what we want is to create a group node based by a single math operation. So I'll add a single math, press Ctrl G to create a group. And what we want is to manipulate in a stack of operation, mathematical operation, the mathematical shape that you want to assign on each of these points of the shape. So in detail, I'm going to create new attributes. The first will be a string to to define what kind of uh, trigonometry shape you want to assign on your points and I can set shape, sine, cosine and tangent. Uh, you can add whatever shape you want in a mathematical operation but we can start with this. The next is the float value of the input and in our case uh, this input is the single component of the position of each point of this uh, shape and in this case we have an array. It's uh, obvious and now we can add some switches to choose what type of shape we need so i duplicate with the shift d this add and set here assign and i put these here a duplicated of these with a cosine and a duplicated of these with the tangent next we need to change this switch menu in a float values and we need to ask if this string is equal to what if it is equal to s we need the sign result passing the input inside the mathematical operation and it's obvious inside the cosine and also the tangent like this and to better understand the layout I'm going to duplicate the group input of this group node placing it near the equal so in this case I can have this result here and in another switch here we can set the correct result the correct float result I can duplicate these another time for the cosine and duplicate the equal the same for the tangent we can move these we can duplicate the group input another time and the equal another time for the tangent mathematical operation link this input string here and here okay we can set if the result of the sign of the string equal to s is true we want the sign result otherwise we want the output of another switch if the shape is equal to cosine see if it's true we want the cosine result otherwise we want another switch for the tangent and this output is in the false result of the switch we can move this a little bit press h to the tangent and if it is true the tangent the t letter of this group input we want the tangent result otherwise we want uh, zero for example now we can create few dots here we can enable the snap tool press h to this switch to collapse them a little bit the h on this sign move this a little bit select all these nodes ctrl j f2 choose the shape now i can link this result in the group output press tab to exit from the group node rename it in trigonometry node and what we want to link is for example the position separated in its component so separated vector link the 
x input for example set sign to start with a result an effect and add a set position to this geometry adding a combine x y z and link the vector of the position here in the position maintaining the old x and y and using the x position to change the z component okay so the height of each point of this grid so to better see the result we need to increase what the frequency of this uh, op mathematical operation so we need to go inside this uh, trigonometry node and add some other attributes like the frequency float value a phase and we need to link the input inside this new attribute before the mathematical shape operation so inside this we need to add a new math node with a multiply value from the input to the frequency press h to collapse and we can rename it in frequency and add an add mathematical operation to add a phase so so you can imagine the phase is the shifting of the values along the trigonometric mathematical operation. We can press H and link this result inside the shape. And now if I exit from this group node and increase the frequency, you can see the correct frequency of my object. We can press 1 to see from the side view this result. I can increase the phase so you can see the shifting along the x of our input we can enter inside this group node and rename this add in phase next after the choosing of the shape we can limit the shape of this output using a clamp object but for this we need to add some attributes here in the group input so i'm going to add a boolean operation range and add to float value of min range max range and if this in a switch is true so we change the float value here we link the range and if it is true we want to have this result otherwise we want the original result before the clamping and this clamping we can rename it in range or limit if you want we can move these three nodes a little bit and link the mean range maximum range press h h to collapse we can create a dot to better understand the layout now we can link this switch in the value press tab save the project and in now if i set true to this range and decrease the minimum and increase the maximum you can have these limit and this is very useful other attributes can be this an exponent for example exponent for a powering so we can link uh, we can link uh, this result in a power operation next uh, a multiply operation to have an amplitude so we can rename this in power this in amplitude we can add a new attribute for the amplitude perfect another add operation to to offset the entire shape along the z component in this case adding a value to all these changed position so we can set this name in offset add a new offset here and we could add another boolean operation to set an absolute value if you don't want to have the negative part so you want to have a flipped part of the negative values below the zero value of the axis in this case and to use this we need a new absolute math operation and a switch to decide if we want, if we want to have an absolute output of of our values so if we want the absolute value we want this result otherwise we want the original so we want to bypass the absolute value linking these in this way press h rename in absolute and link this result here now we can link the exponent of our node here the amplitude the offset and the boolean of the absolute switching h h h we can move these nodes a little bit h to this and voila this is the result now if i press tab to exit we can play with these attributes so 
I can set one for the exponent, one for the amplitude, zero for the offset, and this is the result. In this way, you can increase or decrease the exponent you need. So if I turn off the range, I can add more or less amplitude, set two, for example, for the exponent, and you can see always uh, positive values. And this is different than uh, the absolute value, okay? In this case, you don't have a flipped values, but you have a value multiplied by itself uh, twice. And if I set one and I set absolute, this is the result, okay? And you can increase or decrease the amplitude, increase uh, in uh, the same uh, way the exponent if you want to have two or three and you can see if you increase the result for a multiplied value of uh, three so 30 you can have this result you can set uh, the phase this is uh, like uh, the heartbeat you can insert a limit if you want if you want to limit the result and uh, for example you can create uh, in this case uh, an object like uh, a tile for a roof or whatever you want you can increase the frequency and i can increase a little bit the result of my grid to see the result here and you can offset all the points along these values and you can see the result of this offsetting if i set one we can see the result of the simple sine operation if i change to c i have the cosine if i change this to t i have the tangent operation and this is useful for example if you want to increase the exponent have a, a max range range of one and simulate a square shape this is a method for example now we can create a more complex shape with a duplicated node link the y information in the input change this to cosine for example and add this result to this result to get the new z component i can set the 0.5 here and 0.5 to this and you can see this particular shape you can see you can create whatever shape you want in your project and to use this in uh, your personal project you can uh, create a new file from the menu and use the link or append menu selecting this tutorial file or if you want to create from scratch you, you can do it double select the node tree folder and select this trigonometry node next you will be able to add with f3 the new trigonometry node and use it in your project thank you guys for watching this little video i hope you enjoyed it you can download this project for free from my gamma page and you will be able to access to many shapes that i created before this tutorial video keep following my channel and if you like it check like and subscribe if you are not and see you to the next tutorial bye